Well, hello. Hey, there you go, live. 34, 97, here we go, quite a few people. Anyways, a lot of hearts. Thank you very much. I am just very, very, very frustrated right now. Um, it's just because... I mean, look at this. Look at this beard. It is terrible, to say the least. It is the worst thing I have ever had. I feel like I can do a better job than this. And I went to a professional at a barber shop, at a bow tie barber shop in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, they give me this after I gave them a picture of what exactly I want. Now, if you see a picture... If you and if you can't do it, I mean, just let me know. I'll get up and I'll go somewhere else. But you can't just wing it. First of all, you work in a barber shop. You're supposed to be a barber. You're supposed to know how to cut beard. And then you go and you do this. You take a poop on my face. Then this is a not good situation. I mean, I'm pretty sure that y'all have been to the same situation where you go and you expect something and you get the shits. Excuse my language, but this is exactly what I got. And I'm tired of people like this who go out there and, and they act professional, but at the same time, they don't even know how to do any of this. Like, they have certificates or they have all this, and they don't even know how to do a simple beer job. It's not simple. I mean, I'm not saying it is. But I guess maybe I'm just too spoiled with the maestros because they always do an amazing job. And I go to a, another barber, and he just does that. Now, what am I supposed to do? I mean, my mustache is not even even. Look at this. One side is smaller than the other. And this guy is a freaking professional. Like, come on, guy. Come on, man. Like, don't freaking ruin my face because you are not capable of doing your freaking job. This is terrible. This is the problem with all these freaking places. Like, go freaking do something else. If you don't know how to cut beer, don't be a barber. Go do, go do a beer waiter or go do something else. Don't mess with my freaking beer. This is... Uh, it's so bad. Like, this is so, so bad. I can't even describe it. I would never go back to this bar bow tie barber shop. I used to go there before, but I guess it's not up to the place. It's up to the barber. And this guy was just the worst. Was the worst. So, sorry. I needed to vent. It's really bad. So, if you see me next week with my shaved face, don't be scared. It's just that, you know, you go out there, you think you're, you know, going to get a professional you know, work done, but this is what it ends up like. So, uh, Vince, I'm sorry if I cut my beard. I'm sorry I'm going to probably shave off, but but they ruined my face, so I'm going to have to fix it. And, uh, yeah, that's that. What do you... Nobody's saying anything. That's fine. It just... I, I don't even not even breathing because I'm just frustrated. So I just wanted to give you that quick spiel. I'm sorry. I was really... I'm sorry, I, I think I cursed or not. I don't know what the deal is, but things happen. Uh, yeah, so thank you for listening to me. I'm still handsome. It's just a very bad. I'm not a 10 anymore. Maybe I'm about eight and a half or something. So I'm going to go trying to fix this myself, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a better job than a freaking Joe in a bow tie barbershop who is just the worst thing ever. Thank you guys again. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to start reviewing the dirt sheets soon. With me and Lana talked about this. We're going to do a weekly dirt sheets review. You know, they review all of us and they talk all this crap. But maybe it's time for us to, you know, strike back and talk how dumb they are with all their, uh, you know, stupid, like, behind the scenes. Like, they think they know it all or who's leaving, who's not. Because it's just so stupid. So, uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there is comments. I'm just, it's not showing up. <laughs> Oh, hello. That's messed up your haircut. That's stupid. Yeah, it is stupid. Ryback. Oh, Ryback said something and I missed it. This guy has no job. Nobody wants to take him to work because, you know, he's just the worst wrestler. And now all all he does is just uh, get gets, waits for me to get on uh, IG and so he can post something. Smile, you're alive. Oh, I'm sorry. I buried you again. <laughs> I thought you were going to bury me first. I'm sorry, big guy. You know I love you. 
I love you so much that uh, I'm even using your uh, protein shakes. Please be more positive. Oh, I, I know, I know. It's just a little thing. I'm frustrated. It's gonna. It's just hair. At the end of the day, it's gonna grow back. But it's not about that. It's not about my beard. It's about the people think they're professional. They think they know something, but they're the worst. That's my thing. It's like Ryback. He knows he's not the greatest wrestler, and he will tell you that. Hey, I'm. Hey, I'm not the greatest wrestler, but I'm the most jack guy. Ha ha ha. That's what Ryback would say. But you know, it should not operate like that. Right back is honest. This guy was not. He sucked. Peru. I like Peru. Hello. Who else is out there? Where's right back? Right back still watching? Ah, Cesaro. Oh, Cesaro is definitely stronger than Sheamus. That's just. Uh, this is going to be pissed. Ah, he's not going to be the first time. Trinity, you're amazing. Trinity. What did Trinity say? All right, I have no time to read every single thing. He's just a human, he can do a mistake, but still sorry for you. No, one thing is to be a human and to make a mistake. One thing is to not do anything like I've told you. I showed you a picture, I showed you what I want, and you're gonna give me this. This is not a mistake. This is just the guy is not capable of doing his job. Now, this is not a mistake. This is he's just being bad at his job. And if you're bad at your job, just go find another job or tell me, hey man, this is super cool beard, I can't do it. I'll be like, Thank you for your honesty. Do my hair. I'll be out of your way. But he's not capable of do that. So, that's what we get. I know I look good without the beard. Thank you. Thank you. Chill, Rusev. I'm not. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me chill. What are you, the right back? You're gonna tell me what to do? Uh, the picture that I showed him is on my IG on my story. You can you can see the picture. It's clear as day. Who's Nixon? The worst is he? Whoa. There's no such thing as Rusev Day, my friend. This thing is dead. 